everybody, welcome to the Mana League. I'm John, as always, and we've got kind of a random Arena video here today uh, because there was a new update to Arena, and they added Part 1, Ravnica at War, Momir. This is going to be a series of events that they're going to be doing that are a new style of uh, gameplay event where it's free entry, and you don't stop playing when you lose one time or two times or three times or whatever. You actually play until you hit max wins. Whether you 15 and 0 or if you 15 and 1,000, you keep playing until you hit your 15 wins. This time around, the rewards are uh, stained glass planeswalker art for Vraska, Tybalt, and Jace, as well as a couple of uh, 100 gold rewards at 6 wins and 12 wins. This one is Momir. But it's different Momir. So Momir, if you're not aware, is a format where you get 60 card deck that is nothing but basic lands. And every turn, you can pay X generic mana, or X mana, or whatever color. But you pay X mana, and you discard a card. And you get a random creature equal to how much mana you paid. You could get an amazing bomb rare 5 drop, or you could get a garbage 5 drop. Whatever. This one's different, because your deck has basic lands and one of each of War's 36 Planeswalkers. Which is interesting. Um, I actually don't know if it's six, a 60 card deck or not. I feel like there would have to be more lands. I feel like 24 lands and 36 planeswalkers doesn't work. And I mean, if we have that many lands, I would think. Um, so I'm assuming, yeah, 89, 90, 96 card deck, it looks like. So I'm assuming, just like Momir, you always keep. And I'm going to play a one drop here. But you have to... Ooh, Land of War Elves is going to help. But you have to kind of think about what mana you're playing, because now you have these Planeswalkers in. It's it's interesting. This is the kind of really weird stuff that I like to do with Magic. I'm not a huge fan of things like the Cascade event or its draft, except you can play two lands. I don't care. But when you start really making things weird, that's where I'm interested. So I made a one drop. we got to wait for our opponent here to figure out how to use the Momir Emblem. Uh, all you do is you click the Momir emblem, and that will allow you to pay X generic mana. So we can make a 3-drop next turn, which we will probably do. They actually discard Kazmina. That's interesting. Um, so we are going to make a 3-drop. They got a Fire Shrine Keeper. It's not terribly exciting. So we're going to make a 3-drop, pitching a land, because I like both these Planeswalkers. And we get a Goblin Bruiser, which is an arena-only card. It's a 3-3. Three -three. That's it. So this has Menace, which means they can get in for one, and then eventually they can pay eight mana and deal three to two creatures. Sure. So we're actually going to get the Wanderer down, uh, based on the mana that we currently have in hand. This is actually really interesting, because you can't... You can't just easily get to eight mana, like you can in Momir. This requires a whole different strategy. So we're going to take one here, that's fine. The Wanderer is going to help. Wanderer is going to help a fair bit. We're going to be able to kill whatever big creature they eventually get. What an interesting format, huh? Huh, huh, huh. Very weird. Opponent's going to make a two drop. They make a Feral Maka. Holy moly, we're going to drop ourselves a Gideon here. Uh, so we're going to drop a Gid. Gideon. And we're going to give uh, this creature Vigilance. Vigilante. And we're going to bash on in for three. So we got one of only two mythic, two or uh, three mythic planeswalkers in the set. So they could theoretically hit Gideon for one here, but it's not going to matter. They're going to drop a Sahili, which is actually really bad. Actually, no, sorry. Every planeswalker is a non creature spell. So for every Planeswalker they play, they get to make a Servo, but otherwise Sahili is not going to do much here. Um, so the Wanderer is still not really going to do much for us. Um, so I guess what we could do is we could give uh, this creature indestructible. So we can come in for 7 at them. And there's nothing they can really do here other than chump. We super don't care about Sahili. And then I think we'll probably just make a 4-drop, discarding Domri, because we're so far away from... Actually, we're not so far away from Domri mana. We have green. Um, but yeah, I would like to make a 5-drop here, I think. So let's go 5-drop, discarding Domri. 
Getting a grasping thrall, cool. Take him down to eight. So we've got about five in the air. Looks like possibly our opponent's mana screwed. Possibly they just have a hand of like four and five drop uh, planeswalkers or different colored planeswalkers than red and green. They've got a Vivian, okay. So that makes a servo. And that's going to let them give uh, something reach to block the 3 3 once. Uh, can she get a land? No, you can only cast the thing. So, yeah, Vivian's unfortunately not a good planeswalker either, other than giving something reach, which is fine. That's not what you want to do. Actually, no. I, I mean, that's not what they want to do. I've got to remember, these decks have Planeswalkers in them. That's <laughs> this is such a new format, it's really hard to figure out. So they looked at two cards, they exiled a card, they can't do anything with it. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So we are still in pretty darn good shape here. We're going to get a six drop if we want it. Uh, we get a Narset, but we can't cast her, and she doesn't do anything anyways. So we're going to drop a land. We are going to give um, this fellow here indestructible. I will lend you my strength. And we are going to go boop, boop, boop to you. Ten at them. So they're taking three. They're going to five. They're going to have to chump Gideon and chump the Bruiser. They're going to be left with, a, I, I would assume, a 2-2 here, but they're actually going to throw the 2-2 away. to read what Gideon does. Okay, there we go. Sure. Throw away a 1-1, one, one, throw away a 1-1, one, one, leave a 2-2. Two, two. Cool. Exactly what I said they would do. So they're left with a 2-2, two, two, they take 3, and then I think we just make a 6-drop here. Because we can cast Wanderer next turn to kill whatever they drop, right? Drop a 6-drop. Pitch Narset. Hi, 7-6. Hi, 7-6. And this feels pretty commanding. Feels pretty commanding. We got there. We got a win. We are one out of 15. We're, we're not going to do this video for 15 times. We're going to do maybe one more of these for this video. Just wanted to show you guys this format and see what this format's about. Uh, I'll certainly be playing through this on my own and getting all those stained glass walkers because they're very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Very clever name on our opponent's side here. Um, that is a Kaya, which we're a color away from casting. So she's going to be fun at the end. Once we get there. But yeah, I think you... Pr I guess you might not always keep... Theoretically, you could have a seven Planeswalker hand and it's just awful. Theoretically, even, even a one land hand or two land... Maybe even a three land hand is not good enough. Man, they built a Momir format where you might have to think about mulliganing sometimes. That's wild. That's wild. This format's really cool. I'm actually legitimately enjoying this. That's Gideon again, this time with no white. Um, I want the one drop. If our opponent's going to be kind of cute, waiting for uh, planeswalkers and such, then I just want to hit him in the face. So that's a 1-1 one, one and Battalion... We make a 1-1. One, one. Not great. Not great. They're going to make a 2-drop, and it's Feral Maka. Back at it again. Uh, we are going to drop a 2-drop. And we've got Kaya colors now. Ooh! Sky Terror is good. Sky Terror is dece. Alright, so we might have to throw away Gideon... Ooh, that's a good Planeswalker in this format. That's a real good Planeswalker. I will double block here if they attack, but there's no way that they should because they now have the ability to cast every Planeswalker, ramp into bigger creatures. Jiang Yang Yu, very good. 
Uh, so good, in fact, that we are going to murder him right now with our Sky Menace. Sky Terror? Sky Terror. Our menacing Sky Terror. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we stopped that problem from happening. Uh, we're going to keep dropping creatures here. And not get rid of Gideon yet. Because maybe we'll get... Maybe we'll get two planes, right? Maybe. I can hope. The Sky Terror is going to do real good work at uh, shutting down their Planeswalkers, which is nice. I will probably throw Gideon away this time around, though. Okay, they got a 3-3. Three, three. Menace. Pretty good, pretty good. Well, that's a Nahiri that we're even further away from casting, right? Even further away from casting. Well, not really. It's the same distance. <laughs> but Nahiri is way less good. So I think we're going to pitch Nahiri. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually going to keep hitting their face here. Just deal all kinds of damage. Trade Maka for that? Gladly. Keep stuff off their board. And then we're going to drop a 4-drop. Nope, not a 7-drop. Drop a 4-drop, discarding Nahiri. It's a 4-4. Four four. Cool. That beats a 3-3. Three three. Opponent probably going for a 5-drop here. So we're now a land away from dropping Kaya, which is going to do some real work. Ooh, Samet seems pretty good, too. I mean, we still just double block that. They scribe to the top, so it's either a land or a planeswalker that they want. Um, but I'm happy to double block here, I think. Um, actually, no. We're dealing we're dealing more damage if we don't block. Do you have Vigilance? Why do I think you have Vigilance? You don't have Vigilance. Vigilant Baylos has Vigilance. Okay, well, that's a Kaya that we are going to drop. Um, we're just going to kill off Samet here. And get in, plus make a 1-1. Make a one -one. Then we're going to make a 5 drop, getting rid of Gideon, and then we're going to have a Kaya next turn, killing whatever scary creature they have. Okay, okay. We are playing historic spells, <laughs> so Mistress Self-Replicator has relevance all of a sudden. Man, this changes Momir so much, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's still random as heck. You will still lose because your opponent has everything ever. What are you? Ah! Kaya, kill that. Kaya, Kaya, kill that. Kill that, please. K kill that. Kill that. Make it dead. Thank you. Uh, four, five, six. I'm... I'm I was going to attack him. Okay. Okay. Well, we got our two wins. We got ourselves a card here. It's an isolated. It looked like a rare wild card there for a second. So we've got two out of three wins. So one more win and we get ourselves a Vraska. Uh, but I wanted this to be a quick video. So we're just going to leave that here. Uh, super fun. I'm going to play this format. I'm going to play this format a lot. Go check it out. It was updated today in uh, Arena. And let me know how it goes for you. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch? Yeah, those are places you can find me. Patreon.com slash ManaLeak to uh, help the channel out financially. Uh, the people over at Patreon are absolutely who keep this channel going, and thank you very much to them. And hey, you could come be one as well. You can go over to InkedGaming.com, use the promo code ManaLeak10, all one word, one zero is the number, to get 10% off your order and help the channel out. And if you want to help the channel out the easiest way, click the thumbs up button, click subscribe. It's free, it's easy, it's quick, it literally helps the channel. But if you do have questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, see you all next time.